we'll talk about the issues. Yeah, you know, with all the recent uh, incidents at Fox News, I think there's an opening in the schedule for a really innovative show that discusses the issues in a unique way. Straight Talk Pirate Take 1 in 3, 2, Welcome to Straight Talk on Fox News. I'm Jack Evans, and you're about to get run over by the Straight Talk Express! <laughs> on Straight Talk, we talk about the hottest issues of the day, and we put our guests on the clock. Joining us today to discuss tax legislation is Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. <laughs> and Yale Law Professor and Tax Policy Expert, Joe Allen. We're going to put our guests on the clock, asking the hottest questions. First question, Joe. Is this tax cut just a, uh, for just for the wealthy people? Well, of course the tax cut is going to be a break for wealthy Americans. However, the inability to deduct state and local level taxes is certainly going to be a hit for high tax earners. And oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. You're out of time, and you just got run over by the Straight Talk Express. <laughs> Paul Ryan, same question. Is this just a tax cut for wealthy Americans? Mm, that's just not true. <laughs> now that's some straight talk. <laughs> Great first take, oh baby! Excuse me, nobody told me about the timers? Fox, Fox News viewers have very short attention spans. You gotta keep it quick and get the information out fast, you know? Gotcha, okay. Um, so quick question, are we supposed to actually be discussing the issues or is this... Straight talk, Violet, take two and three, two... <laughs> Second question, Joe, will this tax bill bring jobs back to America? Well, the tax cuts certainly mean additional capital for businesses, but they could very well be using that capital to pay off dividends. And of course, there are reasons outside of simply tax for jobs to go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe, Straight Talk Express just came through and flattened you like a pancake. <laughs> These issues don't really lend themselves to being able to... Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. Once again, you are out of time. I wasn't answering a question. We were just talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I see you've met uh, Hillary and Shirley. How do you guys feel about the tax bill? <laughs> you can tell by their faces. They hate it. All right, Paul Ryan. Same question. Is this tax bill just a tax cut for wealthy Americans? We'll bring jobs back. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Guys, Joe, I gotta tell you, it seems like you're proving the academic elite just can't deliver straight talk like uh, Paul Ryan. This is bullshit. And who keeps hitting me with mallets? Oh, that's Hillary and Shirley. It's a little bit of red meat from the base. You know, they're, uh, they love seeing Hillary in their jumpsuits. Uh, <laughs> Do you uh, really think that this is appropriate for a civil debate? Well, good job again. We're really loving all your work. Yeah, I think I'm going to try something different on this one. Paul, baby, listen, you are TV gold. Do literally anything you want. Straight Talk Pilot, take three and three, two, one. Final question. Is this tax bill good for America? Joe. There's no way for me to answer that question quickly. So you're saying the GOP is trying to hurt America? It depends what kind of American you are. If you own a business, it's good. If you live in a high-tax state, it's bad. And if you're poor, it's, it's sort of neither. And then, of course... <laughs> oh! <laughs> really took a pounding from the Straight Talk Express there, Joe. Gotta cut the bullshit. I was going <laughs> as fast as I could. <clears throat> Paul Ryan, same question. Is this tax bill good for America? <laughs> That is the definition of straight talk. Oh. <laughs> what was that for? Being a woman. Back with more straight talk okay. after the break. I will deal with the misogyny of that later. I have been studying this my entire life. You cannot pretend that no. it's just a simple thing. It is a very complex set of objectives that contribute to public policy goals. I've been studying this my whole life. I can't pretend I can just do it in one sentence like that doofus over there. Wow, Jack, thank you. You played that music and you didn't interrupt me that time. <laughs> um, this music is actually just what we listen to during breaks. <laughs> we cut up for Jack to a commercial. We didn't take that and uh, no one's ever going to hear it. Good luck. Nice. 